Why didn't you shoot? Sorry? Well, back there, Nathaniel could have had a gun. Could have killed me. Why didn't you shoot? I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Come on, you had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a tough guy. A street cop who's been through the mill. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. Why don't you fuck off, Norman? That's him. Miroslav Korda? Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Shit, don't just stand there, he's gonna get away! Ah! Hey man, watch it! Ah! Is Blake. Damn place is freezing. My hands are numb. Shit! Where'd he go? I can't see anything here. Time it looks like we got our origami killer. Papers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. I 
I've seen the parents of all the victims. And all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. Breathe this goddamn humidity. Hope it stops raining soon. Ugh. I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Can I come in? Sure. Let me take your coat. You want a drink? Yes, glass of water, please. Take a seat, I'll get it. Thanks. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope.
No sender. It was mailed in the Carnaby district. The day before Johnny disappeared. Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. There's nothing you can do to help, Lauren. It's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. Another time. Are we gonna be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back. Okay? Okay. Just let me know if you need me. <laughs> okay. Gotta find Gordy Kramer. Hi! Great party, huh? Hi! <laughs> Well, let's get better acquainted, pal. <laughs> oh, you're my kind of guy. I like you. <laughs> my friend. Maybe this job does have a first. Now I got me a new friend. I'm looking for Gordy. I saw him going upstairs a while ago. I'd be surprised if he comes down again this evening. Hi, I'd like to see Gordy. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Look, you just tell him that Scott Shelby wants to speak to him. Okay? You're starting to piss me off, man. 
Now beat it before I get angry. If I want to see Gordy Craig, I'm going to have to go about it some other way. So, did you find Gordy? He's upstairs. He's got two goons blocking the way. Do you want me to handle them? Hey, what are you going to do? Knock them out with a pair of high heels? Leave it to me! Just be ready to go as soon as they leave the stairs! <laughs> Wait, Lord! My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. You're giving me the crap now. Tell me something I can believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! Ow! 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 Ow!
It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> 